YouTube is widely used, but the search functionality is notoriously underwhelming. If you try to search YouTube to find specific answers to a question, you're lucky if the recommended videos have anything to do with the question, and you're left having to click through them to figure it out. What you need is a way to summarize a collection of YouTube videos so you can look them up later when a question is asked. This way you can both answer the question and provide relevant videos related to the question. This is possible today using AI and Redis with just a few lines of code. The process is as follows. First, you take a list of videos and you use an LLM to summarize each video. It helps to ask for example questions so that you can more easily match the videos later. Next, you use the LLM to generate vector embeddings for each video summary and store the vectors in a vector database like Redis. Now, when someone asks a question, you use vector similarity to look up relevant videos in your vector database. Then you take the list of videos and pass them to the LLM to generate the answer. Finally, you serve the answer back to the user. In theory, this sounds great. In practice, there are some tricks you'll want to understand. Let's look at how you can do this in code. We're going to be taking video transcripts and using them to ask an LLM for a summary and sample questions. To do this, we need to come up with a very detailed prompt for the LLM. We need to ask it to specifically summarize videos and generate sample questions. Here, we're importing langchain.js, and then we're writing our summary prompt template. We're going to supply the transcript text to the LLM, and in response, we want a summary and example questions. We'll use this to generate a prompt template with Langchain. Next, we need to import all our dependencies, including the Langchain dependencies for summarization, OpenAI embeddings, OpenAI chat, and Redis vector store. We'll also need to import the Redis client and the summary prompt we just created. Now, we need to create a summarization model using chat OpenAI. We'll also need to create an embeddings model using OpenAI embeddings. We'll store the embeddings in Redis using Redis Vector Store. Redis Vector Store lets you specify options for indexing and searching, and automatically creates an index for you. With our summary model and our prompt, we can create a summarization chain using Langchain. This will be used to summarize videos. The last thing we need to do here is write a function that will take in video documents with metadata like ID, link, title, description, and thumbnail. Then it will iterate over each video and use the summarization chain to summarize the video content. Finally, it will add all the documents to Redis using the Redis vector store. Let's see what these summaries look like in Redis Insight. I've gone through the process of populating a Redis database already so I already have video summaries in Redis with an index set up. Using the index filter in Redis Insight, you can easily get to the keys associated with an index. Looking at one of the videos, you can see the summary content, the vector embedding, and the metadata. Now we're almost ready to start answering questions, but we're missing the critical piece of looking up relevant videos and calling the LLM to retrieve the answer. Here's how that works. First, we need to build a semantic question prompt. What this will do is ask the LLM to provide a semantically similar question to the one being asked, allowing us to normalize questions for easier vector searching. Next, we need to build an answer prompt. This prompt will provide the video data to the LLM in addition to the question. In return, the LLM is asked to answer the question using the provided video info if possible. To get our questions answered, we're going to use a lot of the same logic we used in the beginning to summarize videos. This includes the summarization model, embedding model, and vector store. Next, we'll use our question prompt to create a semantic question chain with Langchain. We can use this to get a semantically similar question to the one being asked. We also need to create an answer chain using the answer prompt we just wrote. Finally, we can write a function that takes in a question generates a semantically similar question, uses Redis Vector Store to find videos that might answer the question, and invokes our answer chain to get an answer from the LLM. Finally, it will return the relevant videos, answer, and question to the user. Using Postman, I've asked our API to answer the question, how do I build with Redis Streams? Here, you can see the response with three videos that are relevant as well as the answer provided by the LLM. And there you have it. 
we're getting answers and the relevant videos for questions. You may already know this, but what we've done here is called Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. You might also notice that answering questions is not fast. This is because the round trip time to the LLM is slow. Not only that, calling the LLM for every question can be costly. Click the link in the description down below to find out how you can reduce the number of calls to an LLM, making things fast and keeping costs down.